Hello and welcome to this offline tu offline tutorial. It's online. It's on YouTube. Damn it! Welcome to this tutorial on how to access Star Citizen's offline solo mode. Finally got it right. I just tried five times to say that. So first things first, you're going to need a memory editing program such as Cheat Engine or similar. First off, you need to navigate to where your game is installed. Uh, by default, it's in your hard drive. Well, the default installation is your hard drive, so that's local disk for me. Program files, not x86, it is normal program files, a 64-bit uh, folder, Cloud Imperium Games, Star Citizen, and Public. Now once you're here, you go into your data folder, Levels, Dogfight Module, and then you're going to rename two separate folders here. You're going to rename DFM underscore Dying Star, and just add on the word old to the end, or you can rename it, rename it Flying Elephants if you really want to, you just need to rename it. And then you're going to rename the DFM underscore Crusader, to be DFM underscore dying star. Oh, without the capital T. I think capitalization might matter. I'm not completely sure, but in, in this process throughout the whole of it, just make sure you get the capitalization right just in case it does actually matter. So with that done, you no longer need the folder open to close that down. I've literally tried to make this video about six times in the last couple of days. It just doesn't seem to want to work. So forgive me if this seems a little bit rushed. It's just I'm very impatient at the moment with all these retries. Yeah. So once you've renamed the two folders and you've opened the game, you want to go to your memory editing software, in this case Cheat Engine. I'm going to assume that everyone who's viewing this video has a basic knowledge of how to run their chosen memory editing software. So you attach the process, if I can find my mouse, fail. You attach the starcitizen.exe process to the memory editor. You change the file type, you know where it says bytes, float, string, that kind of thing. You want to select string and then you want to search for arena commander with no space uh so actually yeah we'll do this one first arena commander no space at all you do the scan and it will come up with a ton of addresses on the left hand side here you select them all and then you drop them down to the address list down here and once all that's uh down there you want to select them all and change the record value to be persistent universe and again no space just all one thing and again Make sure you get the capitalization correct or it might not work, I'm not sure. So once all that's done, you delete all these addresses down here and you do a new scan. Now here, keep it as string and you're gonna search for DFM underscore free flight and you're gonna scan for that. And again, as before, it's gonna have a crap ton of addresses here. Select them all, drop them down to the address list and select all again. Change the record value to represent SC underscore default and click OK. So, you no longer need Cheat Engine up whatsoever, so close that down. Now, since the game is already open, I'm assuming you haven't closed it since using Cheat Engine. If you have, you need to redo that entire process again. So anyway, once you're here, don't click Universe. It's not gonna work. You go down to Electronic Axis, you let it load, and once it's loaded, you click on Arena Commander. And once this is loaded, you are going to be selecting Drone Sim, if I can find my mouse. Again, my mouse just keeps jittering everywhere. So now we're in Drone Sim, do not change that left-hand option here at all. Don't change that whatsoever. But you're gonna switch from Broken Moon to Dying Star. And now you're obviously not gonna have a ship to select there. That's normal, don't bother with that. Just leave the left-hand option alone, change it from Broken Moon to Dying Star and click Launch. Now you're going to be loading into the game, which will take me absolutely ages because I have a potato processor. Well, actually, I have an i5-4460, uh, so it's not really a potato. More like a cabbage. In my experience recently, the loading screen for loading the offline solo version of the Persistent Universe does take a little bit longer than it would if you were going into online via the Universe option. I don't know why that is, at least for me it does take a little bit longer. So if it seems like it's not loading, don't worry, just wait it out, go make yourself a cup of coffee or dinner or have a holiday or something while you're waiting. And there we go, we loaded in, just as I was taking the drag. So, typical. So, now that we're loaded in, this is offline, there are no other players about whatsoever, the game does tend to do that weird fading in thing right there. So, we're in our own solo session, that's basically it for the process, it's pretty simple, I'm obviously trying to explain it, it takes a bit longer than actually doing it, but, you know, it's, it's a very, very simple process, it's worked ever since patch 2.3 and before. Same process, although I will say that there are occasional crashes, more so than online. Most notably when you go to comma rays, or when enemy pilots tend to spawn in, particularly when they're jumping in, that's when the game tends to crash more often than not. So if you're going to be flying around doing combat, just be prepared in the offline solo that you're going to be crashing a fair bit more. But that's due to the fact that obviously this is Persistent Universe and it's offline, so it's not really supposed to work. <laughs> Developers are not actively making the single player version of the game yet, at least not 
anything that we know of. So yeah, into my freelancer! And it is also worth noting, once my character sat down... Come on, hurry up, sit down. Right, it's also worth noting that the credits in the game, the AUEC, do not change or alter in any way, increasing or decreasing, when you are in offline or solo. They will just stay as they are. You cannot buy weapons or clothing or use any of the in-game shops. You can't do any of that. You can pick up weapons in space, I know that much. You can technically pick up Radagast and stuff, but your your credits will not change at all. And I, I'm not completely sure about restocking or refueling your ship. It's possible that that won't work either. So if you do need to repair, if you've been to combat and not crashed and blah, 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 just call in a new ship from either Port Olisar or Crusader. Now let's do some actual gameplay. Good Comoray 306, why not? Ooh. This is where the game will probably crash. You chose the wrong part of space to it fly didn't. Through. Nice. No crashing today. I'm gonna go for this guy up here. It's a bit laggy because obviously I'm recording as well as playing, but. Let's go. I can't fire today. I cannot aim for crap. <laughs> smoothing on my mouse as well, so that's obviously not helping, and I'm not used to that. Ah! God damn it. Well, I made him spin. Nice. Whoa! Missile to the face. There, he's down. Whoa, that was close. So I'm going to put some music to this now, guys, and you guys can just watch a bit of offline solo play uh, for a few minutes to get an idea of what it's like. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, girls. Take care, and I just hit the comrade. And adios for now. Bye-bye.